in this video we are going to take a deep dive over redux now i will be explaining you everything about redux with the help of a random generator library through which we will be generating random strings and similarly numbers so first thing first you can simply move into your puffpay.yaml file and get the dependency of redux and similarly for flutter redux now for generating random strings and random integers we will be using random string now if you are getting the following dependencies we are good to go so here if you see under my main.dart file i have nothing but simply a my app which is initial boilerplate code so first thing first we can simply move into our main method and configure a store for our redux library so the first thing which is important before implementing a redux state management into our flutter application is what is a store now consider store just as an entry point for your redux that is the instance of your redux state management so here i can simply declare a new final store and the following store is simply going to be equal to the store which is nothing but an instance of our redux library itself now the following store shall be taking two parameters which are important the first one is going to be reducer and the following reducer is going to be the state which will be changing time to time through which we shall be conducting our store and the second parameter which is important is about the initial state that is when the following store shall be initialized into our flutter application which of the state shall be declared first after reloading the following store so here under this reducer we can simply create a new method that we have been going to be changing from time to time i will simply create a new method for generate random values and under this random values we shall be taking two arguments the first one is going to be the value itself that is the value that shall be generated under this method and the second thing is about the dynamic which is nothing but an action which is the action through which the user shall be performed for generating a random string else a random integer so under the following method if the following action is going to be pressed under an action for a random integer we shall be simply generating random integers else we shall be generating random strings so here for creating the random valueness i will be creating a simple enum let's name it random types and under this random types we shall be declaring two fields for numbers and similarly for alphabets all right so here under this actions we can simply state if the action is nothing but random types dot numbers we shall simply return a value which is going to be dynamic and the value of the following value is nothing but random numeric and the following random numeric is imported via our random string library and the following random numeric will simply take a length so here i can simply provide it a length of 15 all right we can also put our second condition for the alphabets so here i will imply one more if statement and the following if statement is simply going to be implied over alphabets so here i can simply write random types dot alphabets and here we can simply return the following value which is dynamic as well and the value of the following value is nothing but random alpha which is alphabets so here i will simply denote its length to be 15 as well all right So here we have simply created our generate random value function. So here we can simply paste it here under our initial reducer. So the first thing first, our store shall be simply optimizing the following generate random value function, which shall be returning us a random value. So here under this function, I can simply return the value itself based on the following conditions of our enum. All right. So here we have simply managed to put an optimized reducer to our store, which is nothing but generate random values. now we shall also be generating an init state to it which is the initial state so here under the initial state i can simply provide it a dynamic value so here i can simply write here let's do it or any sort of thing all right so here we have our instance of our store so under my app i will be needing to pass the following value of store which is our redux function to the class which is under my app so here i can simply create a final variable for the store so here i can write a store and the following type of store is going to be dynamic so here i will simply denote it dynamic and create its value which is store now we can also construct its constructor so here i will simply write my app and under this i can simply write here this dot store all right so here under my app we can simply pass on our store to be the store itself which is instance of redux all right you can format document once so under my app instead of returning a material app we will simply return a store provider for the following store which is our initial store which is the instance of the redux itself so here i will simply return a store provider now the following store provider will simply take a store so here i can simply provide it a store to be the store itself 
all right and the following child is going to be material app itself now we need to pass here the type of the store that we have optimized which is nothing but of a type of dynamic so here i can simply write here the following store to be under type of dynamic all righty now under the following container we need to implement all of our logic for the following button so here under my container i will simply have a child to be a column all right and under this column we will have our children now all of our children are going to be under a type of a store connector so here first of all we will simply have a text of the following type through which we are declared under our generate random values function for returning a random integer or random alphabetical thing which is a string itself all right so here i will simply have a new children for a store connector so here i will simply write here a store connector now here you may observe that the following store connector will take two parameters which are builder and converter as well but before them we need to pass the type of store connector and the first value of the type of store connector is going to be the type of store that we have declared which is the store itself so here i can simply pass on the store and the next type is going to be the string so here i will simply pass on the string all right after providing a type which is dynamic and string first thing first we need to create a new builder for our entire store connector so under the place of builder first of all i will simply pass on the context of our entire build context of our my app and after that i will simply pass on any type of value now this is my one of the short trick while implementing a redux into flutter if we want to simply display any type of value which is going to be text we are simply need to pass on the text which is going to be very easy for determining which type of builder are we optimizing in so here under the form builder i will simply return a new which is nothing but a text and the following value of the text is going to be the text itself now we can also do one thing that is give some styling to it and after having this text we will have this converter now the converter is going to convert all the value from the store which is our instance of redux into our ui so here under the following store we will simply have the instance of the store itself and under this instance we will simply return store dot state that is the state of the store and under this i will simply pass on to string for my document once all right and if you see under our ui we have our text here which is let's do it so let's do one thing first of all we will simply refactor it a center so here i can simply refactor it under a center and similarly give it a main axis alignment under the center as well all right and after having this text we will have our another buttons which are going to be material button for converting the following text of let's do it into random string and similarly for a random integer that is random number so after coming out of the following store connector we will have a new store connector so here i will simply write a new store connector and the following store connector is going to be under the same type for dynamic and similarly a string as well now under the following store connector we will have our builder so under this builder i will first of all have a context and after this context we will have a callback function so here i will simply write a callback but wait a minute here we are simply returning a callback and a callback is going to be function through which after pressing on the following button that is on tap method the ui shall be rendered accordingly so here instead of having this string we need to pass here void callback function all right so here under this method we shall left it off for now and have a converter so under this converter i will have my store itself so under this following method i will simply return the entire function and for the function i will simply write here store dot dispatch and the following dispatch is going to be a type of middleware and the middleware is responsible for handling all the changes which are the breaking changes under the ui and for the changes under our ui here we have nothing but two functions for generating random num numbers and similarly random alphabets so here for the first action here i can simply write here random types numbers which is going to be a type of a random thing which is going to be a number itself so here under this builder i will simply turn a new material button and under this method we simply need one more important parameter which is on press and guess what under this on press we will simply have to return the callback itself which we have passed under a builder and the following callback is going to be handled over our void callback function which is under a type of our store connector itself so here under our material button let's have a child so under this child i will simply have their text here for random numbers and also some background color to it so here i will simply write a background color of colors dot light blue accent or any sort of thing you can format document once 
Now here under our UI, you can see we have our random numbers here. So let's do one thing. Let us convert the following store connector under a row. First of all, and after this store connector, we will have one more store connector. So here I will simply copy the following store connector, paste it one more time, and here under our following converter for converting our store action into user model, I will simply have your alphabets. All right, and here I will simply have alphabet itself. Let's also do one thing that is change its color. So here I will simply give it a color of red accent, and also manage our entire row to be spaced evenly. All right, so here you can see we have our two of the functions here. So you can format document once. Now let's try it out. So here after pressing this button, you can see that the following value is changing. And here after pressing our random number button, the value of the following let's do it thing, which is our default value under our store. which is initial state the value will be changing accordingly and after pressing this button the value of the following thing is going to be a random alphabets which is very cool and here we can simply generate all the numbers and here i can generate all the random alphabets you know what i can play this entire day but we don't have time for that okay regardless of that let's take a look over what we have we implement today so to implement redux function that is redux state management into a flutter application you need three type of things first of all a store and the store is going to be the instance of your redux function that is redux state management the second thing we need is a store provider which provides all of the data under your store and the following store provider will simply take a type that is a type of the store provider that we are providing and the third thing is going to be the store connector which connects the entire data under the store with the store provider and the following store connector acts as a middleware and the following middleware is going to be be useful for performing all of the actions that we need to connect our ui with our business logic so here under the store connector we have our two of the types the first one is going to be dynamic which is the type of store itself and the second one is going to be a string which is our text cause our text is always going to be under a type of string store connector here is also be containing a first value to the store itself and the second one to be void callback that's because we have our material button here and the following material button will simply take a callback that is on pressing the following button we need to dispatch some of the actions for and for that to converting our actions under the ui we will be simply using converter under the value of store and the following store will be simply useful for dispatching our entire business logic under the type of the action and the for the following actions we are simply implemented the enum of random types which contains number and alphabet so here under the following functions which is our reducer function the following reducer function is going to be changing all of its value that is random numbers and random integers okay random numbers and random alphabets and here you can see we have our initial state which is let's do it that we have changed accordingly into our redux state and the next thing is about it you need to subscribe this channel i am just kidding if you find something meaningful at that time only you need to subscribe the channels else you can watch it for free so i hope you have understood what is redux and how we can use into a flutter application now remember one thing redux is all about store management not state management i prefer it using just as a grocery store thing where i will be simply going into the store and the store shall be providing me two values the first one is going to be the thing that i will be needing and the second one that store shall be providing to me now to go through the random store which is just a store for the redux i need to go to the store provider which provides me all of the data under the store and the third thing is going to be the manager of the store which is going to be our store connector and the following store connector will simply take my data which is going to be dynamic and it will simply turn me a string and the string is going to be type of product that i will be requiring and for example here we will simply take the second product to be string and here the second product to be void callback Now in this way you can simply dispatch all of your actions with the help of converter and builder. So my friends this was all about for today and we have successfully implemented redux under our flutter having the cool random numbers and similarly for random alphabets. Now I hope you have loved this tutorial and if you do so simply press the like button. It will be great if you simply share all of my videos under your network after subscribing to my channel and pressing that small tiny button of bell. So I will see you in the next one with another great video. till then you can simply move under my instagram and check all of the updates that the new updates of our further videos so i will see you in the next one goodbye